Hey y'all, welcome to another video here at Big Daddy Unlimited. So today, we're gonna to be testing out this breech pen. Nope. Now that's a lot of damage. This is really cool. When I first saw that it came out, I thought there is no way in hell they're gonna be selling that to anybody but law enforcement agencies. But we actually have this available, ready to ship on our website. This is not controlled at all by the ATF. It doesn't even ship as hazmat. So it's something that you can have and go out there and have all kinds of fun and do your own testing with it. But today we wanted to go out there and do our own little bit of testing. I've seen a whole bunch of videos on YouTube when we were getting ready to make this, that folks have cut locks, barrels, chains, and things like that. We want to try something a little bit different. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try it from like a military engineering perspective, having to breach an obstacle. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to show the limitations of putting out a fire that started by this. This right here is a burning metal. So if you take something like this right here, which is a regular ABC fire extinguisher that you would have in like a home or a business, that it's not actually able to put out this type of fire. You're going to need what's known as a class D fire extinguisher, which is designed for burning metals. Another thing with burning metals is that they don't need their own, they don't need external oxygen to be able to burn. We'll show that. We're gonna take this fish tank here full of water. We're gonna stick one of these burning breech pens in there, and we're gonna show that it will not only burn underwater, we're also gonna see if it'll get some ramen noodles all nice and warmed up to where they could possibly be edible. One thing also to make sure that you're doing whenever you're using this, we can't overstate the importance of wearing proper PPE. This is not something that you wanna go out there in your flip-flops and shorts and sit there and start playing with it. Some of the things you need to make sure that you have is first of all, iPro. Next thing is gonna be making sure you're wearing a long sleeve shirt that's gonna be flame resistant, and you're also wearing jeans or something else that's gonna be really resistant to that fire. And then finally, that you're also wearing flame resistant gloves because this right here, well again, it's gonna be sending fire everywhere. So let's get started and see what happens. Man, I assure y'all that this isn't my dad's stuff that I'm borrowing. I forgot to bring some FR stuff with me from Texas. Wasn't expecting to do any sort of fire stuff. We'll be testing this now from the perspective of military breaching. If you were to have an objective that you had to attack and your assault element had to pass through a barbed wire fence, instead of either cutting their way through it or blasting their way through it, you could possibly take something like this breaching pen and you could actually do a thermal breach of it and cut. So what we're gonna do is we'll light it off and we're gonna see how well to cut through all these rolls of barbed wire that are here as a simulation for, again, trying to get onto an objective. So to get it going, you pull it out from its sheath, stick it in the holder like that. There's a match here at the bottom, and you can't use just a regular match. If you lose the specific match for this, you're not gonna be able to get it lit unless you have something that can get it hot enough to get that metal burning. Another thing to keep in mind is we got a little bit of wind. You wanna make sure that whenever you're using this, that you're staying upwind because it throws a hell of a lot of just sparks and stuff flying around. All right, so we were able to successfully cut through all this barbed wire in here. It got really hot and um, you can sit there and uh, on the video, you can see how the flame kind of came up here. You wanna make sure you keep your hands away because my hands are getting pretty hot. But if I wouldn't be wearing any of the gloves or anything like that, my hands would definitely not be feeling good. But we can definitely say that it's successful for cutting barbed wire. So if we were to, again, be an assault element attacking an objective, you have that barbed wire fence you need to get through, this definitely is a viable option. Although, of course, if you do that at night, it's going to knock out your night vision. It would ruin your nods and get you a lot of attention. But it's one of these things where there's capabilities and limitations for every platform. Well, let's go out there and see if we can put out a fire when it starts. So what we'll be doing now is we're going to be showing the limitations of a regular ABC fire extinguisher 
that you normally find in your home or in a business. This right here is going to be what's known as a metal fire because it's burning metal. Whenever you're going to be fighting a metal fire, you need what's known as a class D fire extinguisher. But of course, here at Big Daddy Unlimited, we have these available on the website. This is known as the Blaze Defense Fire Extinguisher, and it's designed specifically for things such as tactical teams that need to have a firefighting capability on them, especially if they're going to be employing things such as noise flash distraction devices or pyrotechnic devices such as CS grenades or smoke grenades that often have a fire hazard with them. This is small enough. You can put them on your battle rattle and have them with you that if you catch something on fire such as a carpet, a couch, or some curtains, you're able to quickly employ this, put out the fire, and you're good to go. And you're also able to put out fires from things such as this right here where you have a metal fire. But let's get on to burning some stuff. So we'll take our regular fire extinguisher and put it out. Nope. All that it's doing is the energy of the stuff coming out is just spreading it. This is even worse than if you were to do nothing at all because it's taking the embers and pushing them all around. Ooh, that's still hot. You can still see all the slag here that accumulates whenever it's burning there on the ground. And that'll keep cooking for a while. So we've now shown that the standard fire extinguisher, that's gonna make things worse. Because again, as that pressure is coming out, it's just spreading burning embers everywhere and not doing anything to be able to fight the fire. So now for the main event and the reason y'all tuned in to see us having some fun with these breaching pens. What we'll do, we're gonna take this ramen noodles, we'll dump it on in there. Well, if it'll go in there, come on. Awkward moment. It's been a while since I've had to resort to eating ramen noodles. There we go. We'll put in four of these in there. And what we'll do is we're gonna see how it actually cooks them, whether it's actually somewhat edible, if we can boil it faster than using like a microwave or something like that. Now time for the main event. All right, let's see how good of a ramen chef I am. Maybe Gordon Ramsay will hire me. Well, come on. Kidding me? Yeah, blowtorch. Six and a half hours later. Oh wait! As you can see in the video, well, hopefully you can see in the video. Unfortunately, the match was un unable to get it ignited. And like we spoke about before, you need a specific match to be able to light this. this isn't something where you can just take your lighter, hold it to it, and it'll start going. You have to use a specific match. And unfortunately, that was the last one that we had there on the range, and we didn't have any more of those matches available. So we had to come back here to BDU headquarters to be able to refilm this. But the fun part about that is we're going to be able to use two of them because we'll be able to use the match from here. We'll light both of them off, stick them in there, and we'll see what happens. Well, it would appear as though we uh, ran out of <laughs> this molten slags, went down there to the bottom and burned through the table. So we'll have a good tax write off now. I got green smoke. I got green smoke. I'm bored. I'm bored. I already dropped it. <laughs> so I'm stuck here like an idiot holding two burning sparklers like this. Very, 
I guess the first time in internet history to make this kind of video. <laughs> Well, that certainly was unique. <laughs> so I was thinking for the outtake of this, I was gonna, I got wearing the gloves, I was gonna do the Hannibal Smith thing, light a cigar and talking about a plan coming together. And that plan did not go together. We, <laughs> that didn't go according to plan. But let's see what actually happened here to the aquarium. It was burned out on the bottom and it looks like, let's see, well, luckily the um, table itself didn't get damaged. It looks like that the glass itself was able to cool it down enough that it didn't melt all the way through the table so we can use this table again. But this should be a great video on the warnings of using it that it's actually got a huge fire hazard. You can see me standing there like an idiot with two of the sparklers going, throwing stuff everywhere. If I wouldn't been wearing a good set of jeans and some long sleeve shirts and also wearing the gloves, I would have actually gotten burned and you could have watched me hop around um, or maybe even take a trip to the burn ward. So hopefully y'all found this video interesting. When we're making stuff, it oftentimes goes according to plan and sometimes it doesn't. This right here definitely did not go according to plan, but hopefully this right here was a good way to communicate both the capabilities and limitations of the breaching pen. One of those things, if you're gonna go out there and use it for real, we talked about using it for like an assault in a military setting, or if you're in a police setting, make sure that you go out there, train and practice with this so that you understand what it can and can't do. Because the last thing you wanna do is, hey, you're gonna use it for some sort of operational use and you're expecting to cut your way into something and then it doesn't work. That's definitely gonna be a very bad day. Well, thanks for y'all's attention. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Please remember here at BDU, we've got more than just guns, ammunition, and the stuff you're used to seeing here. We're gonna be carrying M203 40 millimeter grenade launchers, 40 millimeter ammunition. We're doing import, export, all kinds of different things. And if you're looking for just that regular firearm, we have a great customer service back there that's ready to help you go out there, pick out the right gun, the right ammo, the right accessory, or pretty much anything and everything. And we'll see y'all next time.